and welcome to another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many great gospel preachers across our country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We are recording from Polishing the Pulpit this week, and we are very thankful to be here. I'm thankful to have uh, Brother David Hamrick with us. I appreciate you sitting down with us today. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Um, what work are you currently involved in? I'm president of World Bible Institute. Uh, it's a work of the McDonough Church of Christ outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And we primarily our focus is training preachers in mission fields. All right. Well, uh, I know you've preached in the past. How long have you been preaching? 38 years. And it's been great. If I had to do all over again, I'd, I'd certainly do it. Well, we are certainly thankful for the work that you're doing and, and for you being involved in, in preaching. What motivated you to, to start preaching and, and to be involved in mission work? Well, um, I went to preacher school initially uh, back in 1980 just to learn the Bible better. I really didn't intend to preach, but when you study the Bible all day and at the feet of some great preachers, it didn't take long that I felt like Jeremiah, the word was like a fire in my bones and I just had to share it. So I thought I need to preach the gospel. So I, I began preaching there in 1980. But um, uh, about 18 years ago, I was asked to go and, and teach in Ukraine and um, got over there and found people so interested in the Bible and just everywhere there were people wanting to know uh, about Jesus. and. I felt motivated to get more involved in mission work and so from that point on literally 18 years ago it changed my life and I decided I still want to be in the ministry but I really want to take the gospel to people throughout the world. I mean that's that's the great commission that Absolutely. Jesus gave us and and I, I really feel com felt compelled to do that and as a result we've been able to, to establish preacher training schools now all over the world. It's been a great very rewarding work. Well as a missionary and as a preacher uh, my last question is this, if there was just one message that you could share with the world, what would that one message be? You know, it's that when, when the Bible says the gospel is for everybody, it's, it's designed for the world, for everyone, and that Jesus died for everyone. Uh, when, you, when you get the privilege to visit people in other parts of the world, you find out that, that people are really the same no matter where you go. Uh, they're good people and they're interested in the gospel. They're literally, there are people all over the world just begging for truth. They're searching for truth. And uh, it's been my great privilege over the years to l find people that would thank me for teaching them about Jesus. There are places now where there's literally a waiting list of people wanting to be taught. They contact our schools and they say, when can you come to our village and teach us about Jesus? And the director of the school has to say, well, you're on our list. We'll get to you as soon as we can, which that's kind of foreign to Americans. Right. You know, we don't see that kind of interest in the gospel, unfortunately. But but the, the, the message is that the gospel's for everyone. And, and I know that Jesus said that few are gonna be in heaven. And I know it's true, but there's gonna be a lot more there than I thought because people all over the world are coming to Christ. And, and um, I'm just thankful to God for the blessing of being able to be a part of such a great work in, in ministry. Yeah. Absolutely, and you know we live in, especially our culture, such a divided culture. That's a message that the world does need to hear. Right. And I appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir. And I appreciate you being with us. And I look forward to being with you next time on A Preacher and His Work. To God be the glory, great the preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne, Alabama.